Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you again how to update your Hyundai's display audio software version. And I also wanna use this video uh, to show you how to update the vehicle to then again re-enable the Blue Link functionality on select vehicles and select VIN numbers out there. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with the 2G, 3G Sunset by Hyundai very early this year and late last year, uh, they basically announced that they were no longer going to be able to support certain Blue Link functional vehicles because of the 2G, 3G wireless Sunset by Verizon and I'm sure some other carriers out there. So essentially the older original Blue Link vehicles up until 2017, 2018, 2019 or so, uh, were no longer gonna be eligible to use Blue Link unless select vehicles out there received an update to their infotainment system to, I believe, update the modem inside to use a different wireless service to communicate with the Blue Link servers rather than rely on the 2G or 3G service that the modems were currently using. Now I'll go ahead and put the link down to a VIN checker tool and more information about this 2G, 3G sunset. You can put in any Hyundai, Genesis, or Kia vehicle VIN number into this tool and it will basically spit out three different outcomes for your particular vehicle. The first one is that it is not supported by an update and will not be supported again by the Blue Link because the system hardware uh, or whatever inside the vehicle is too outdated, too old, and cannot be updated to re-enable communication uh, with the Blue Link servers. Now the second outcome is this vehicle right here, a 2017 Hyundai Elantra Limited without the built-in navigation, so just the standard Limited, and it says it is eligible to be updated to then again re-enable the Blue Link services and use a newer communication, I assume something like 4G technology, to communicate with the Blue Link servers. So that is what we're gonna be trying in today's video. And the third outcome on that website is basically that the vehicle was not impacted at all by the 2G, 3G sunset because it was already using a newer communication service such as 4G uh, to communicate wirelessly with the Blue Link services. Uh, so your vehicle essentially does not need an update if you don't want to update it. And you will continue to have the Blue Link functionality uh, for the foreseeable future until maybe a 4G sunset comes along 5, 10, 15 years from now. Who knows? Um, basically, whenever the vehicle is, again, no longer supported. Now I do already have several videos here on the channel showing you guys exactly how to update the display audio, but I know some of you guys out there have been commenting on my older videos saying that you were unable to get it to work. And I have to say, I did try this on a older Palisade uh, several months ago, sometime last year, and I was actually unable to do the update myself. Uh, so today we're gonna use the latest April update, which just came out a few days ago on Hyundai's website. Uh, so the most up-to-date files are available to download and see if we can get it to work here on this 2017 Hyundai Elantra to not only update the display audio in the head unit itself, but to see if once we update it, if the Blue Link functionality will become re-enabled and maybe that VIN checker tool after a day or two will say that the vehicle is now um, okay to be used with Blue Link and see if that changes anything um, on the system side of things as to whether or not the vehicle is now up to date or not. So I've already got the update loaded here onto the USB. I'll go ahead and insert a clip of exactly how to do that, uh, but it's very simple for the display audio vehicles. Essentially just go to the correct vehicle, uh, go to the correct download file, download it to your computer, uh, click and open the zip file that downloads, uh, copy it all over to the USB formatted to FAT32, and uh, pretty much that is it, eject it on your computer, take it here to the vehicle and plug it into the USB data port. Now, just to show you guys what version this is running before I perform the update, you go into settings, system info, and right there you can see software version AD USA 0000V067.151222. And this might be the original software that came loaded on the vehicle because the newer version uh, starting after the V is significantly higher in number than that of this version. Uh, so it might very well be the same version that came out uh, when this car came out in 2017. So uh, if this is actually the first time the system is being updated, uh, then they actually will change some of the layout, some of the colors for the icons. And I don't believe it'll add or remove any functionality, but you never know. Uh, the easiest way to tell is by looking and taking note of all of the display icons here on the infotainment system. Uh, just looking at them, taking a picture on your cell phone, something like that, and seeing if anything actually changes after the update is complete. So I'll go through the entire system fairly quickly so you guys get an idea of what it looks like before. Remain the same. Here's your radio screen. See the SoundHound logo up there? That might go away after, I'm not exactly sure. Here's the phone. 
don't have Bluetooth connected, we'll go to the media screen, no media available, we'll go to apps, SoundHound, XM Data, Voice Commands, Pandora, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, pretty standard issue stuff there. Go to setup, again, there's all those icons. So let's go ahead and plug the update in. So now after the USB is plugged in, go into system info once again, then you'll press update. we will go ahead and check the update information on the USB itself. So we can see the update is now being performed, copying file. Now Hyundai claims this update should take 10 to 15 minutes total. Um, I've had firsthand experience where the process does take a little bit longer, but generally these display audio updates should be quicker than the navigation updates given there is less data to be transferred through the infotainment system itself. So I'd give it up to about 20 minutes or so. Um, just let the process go, let the vehicle run during the update. So as we can see, the update has successfully completed and actually from the time it started the update after verifying the USB files, um, it only took about 12 minutes. So it actually went very quickly. Um, I'm very happy about that. Here on the home screen, we can see nothing actually changed. I've seen some uh, older head units like this actually change some of the fonts and stuff, but it looks like this one did not. If we go into setup, we can see what appears to be most, if not all of the same icons are here. I think there might be an advanced, this might be new, uh, some of the other stuff like that. But if we go into the version, just to make sure that it did successfully complete, we can see V1082107. Uh, so that is the new firmware. Looks like there's 3.3 gigabytes of storage on the actual system itself for voice memos or other media files can reset to system defaults there if we would like. And the one thing I'm curious about is whether or not the blue link functionality is now active uh, because this vehicle, like the point of this entire video, was to get the blue link functioning once again, update the modem inside the vehicle itself uh, to use a new cellular service to hopefully gain access to the blue link servers once again. So if we go and click on blue link, we'll go to service activation. This entire screen looks entirely different. Um, I'll go ahead and put a picture up on the screen, but it didn't even have the Blue Link logo before. It just had the uh, programming in process and then it aired out after a while because obviously I don't think it could communicate with the server. So as you guys can see, we were able to successfully to complete the display audio update using the most recent files that Hyundai has released. Uh, so that is good to see that it looks like the files themselves are now working with the infotainment systems. Um, I know that's been a problem out there, so hopefully you guys are now successfully able to update your display audio uh, using those latest April 2023 files. Uh, but it is to be determined whether or not the Blue Link functionality will come back to this particular vehicle. Uh, but this is essentially the process that you will do to uh, update not only display audio, but update your vehicle if it is eligible for an update to continue using the Blue Link services. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please hit that like button below. Uh, subscribe if you guys are not already subscribed and check out some other of my videos here on the channel, including how to update your navigation system on your Hyundai vehicle. Uh, that should be a brand new version coming out here next month, May 2023. And I will update you guys as far as the May 2023 navigation system goes. I'll pull on another vehicle that has built-in navigation, see exactly what changed with the new files, and obviously we'll go from there on the channel. But once again, hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next one.